Thank you, brother. Thank you guys for being out here. Uh, I'm here in support of what you guys have been fighting for and marching for. It's a long time coming in our country and it's coming to a boil all across the United States right now. Saturday, 150 cities across America speaking out for justice and speaking out for truth about things that have been way too damn long and coming. The way I look at this right now, this is a, if this isn't a wake up call for the United States of America, we need a gut check on what we think our country is. Because this is what our country is. The messages and the protests that are taking place right now. 400 years have led up to this frustration that won't be contained anymore. So will people that have the ability to change, and I'm not just talking about elected officials, will they have the guts to make the change that is long overdue? And until every person in this country, regardless of what they look like, whether they're privileged like me, or not so privileged just because of the silly concept of the color of somebody's skin, can't see a connection to a bright and hopeful future, that's a damn shame for the United States of America. And we are better than that. In this thing, to me, there's, there's two major issues. And there's lots of issues, but there's two major issues. The one issue is just the bone-crushing pain of poverty. Government, I can tell you at the local government level, probably three-quarters of what we deal with is because people don't have enough money to live. And when you don't have enough money for a roof over your head or food on the table or shoes on your baby's feet, it's hard to think about anything else. So we need to take what we call a minimum wage that needs to be moved to a family supporting wage so people have enough money to live. So we gotta figure out poverty. Yes. These are boring things, right, that people say, I don't wanna hear that, I wanna hear an answer tomorrow. Unfortunately, the way this system works in America is you gotta elect people in office you got to get a national living wage at the federal level. And so this is a marathon, folks. Now, we can start by what you're doing today and what you've been doing for the last five days. And I hope what you're going to do for the next five months, for however long it takes to change to come around until enough of America understands what the hell's going on. So that's one issue. The second issue is the relationship between black communities and brown communities and our police officers. There's been an imbalance of power in our country since the first ship of enslaved people arrived 400 years ago. And it's gone all the way through today. And people tell me, Mayor, I'm tired of the history lesson. The reason I give the history lesson is because most people who look like me don't know their damn history. Come on. And if they knew their history, there might be a little more empathy to what the problem is. And when that empathy comes forward, maybe some justice will follow. You better preach today. So when you see me as your white mayor, trying to have some calm in the city. Those are the things that motivate me why I want calm, so we can get to the bigger picture. Without people talking about, you know, well, we just want to calm things down so we can go back to business as usual. Folks, business as usual ain't working. What's the solution? If, <laughs> you know, when I talk about going from a minimum wage to a family supporting wage, that would be a huge solution. That would, that, would change, that would eliminate poverty in our country. There are too many people. There are too many people that can't think about it tomorrow because they don't have money to buy food today. So that's, that's one issue. The other big issue to me is the police community trust and legitimacy. And there's all kinds of other issues beyond that. But those are the big picture issues. I'm here to listen to you guys. I'm here to support you all and your right to peacefully protest. You've been doing a great job. We've had a few folks in the community that have distracted from the good work you're doing. So let's stay focused on doing it so that people say, oh, that's just a bu bunch of violent people. This is a bunch of passionate people that are trying to get the change our country needs. Yell some questions at me. What's the, what's the question is what is the solution to police everybody please everybody the, the, the question was what's the solution 
what's the solution to pro pro to police brutality? No matter what side of the city you stay in, we're gonna answer that question. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I, I want this stuff to be like in order. You know what I'm saying? This is the mayor. Show respect. No matter how you feel. Well, I only give respect if I deserve respect. So, uh, all right. In terms of. Uh, How do we address the issue of productive police relationships? A couple of things. One is a police officer should look at themselves as a guardian, not a warrior. Okay? A police officer is here to protect us so we can exercise our rights. A police officer is not here to terrorize, to threaten. So do you select the right people? Does the, does the police force look like the community? No, 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 not at all. No. Louisville, Louisville's about 23% African American. Our police force is about 12 to 13% African American. We need help from folks that are African Americans that want to be on the police force. But look, some of them say, why would I want to be on the police force? They get ostracized by their community for being on the police force and they get stressed out so they can't be comfortable anywhere. That's a problem that you gotta work on. And then it's training, training, training to do the right thing at the right time and not to judge somebody on the color of their skin, whether it's a soccer mom in a Westport Road or some young black dude at 26 in Broadway. Well, get rid of them. If you're just tuning in, Mayor Fisher has joined protesters at Jefferson Square Park. The question is, the, the question, I, let me paraphrase the question. There's more police officers in the black community than in other parts of the community, right? Well, we deploy, you know, we deploy police where there are problems to attend to. And so I, so you use data to do that. There is, there is more crime in communities where there's lower income. Yes, yes, dude. Everybody, everybody, please. Please. Mr. Mayor, I know you did your word today in Minneapolis. Give him the mic. Give him the mic. Just talk. I know that you were aware that today in Minneapolis, um, they opened up a federal investigation into the entire police department. My question for you is that after the Explore scandal with the rape of little boys in the neighborhood, after um, the attempted cover-up of the Miami Sanders case, after um, what happened Tuesday with um, the back shot, um, do you think it's about time that we, uh, that um, our entire police department is under investigation by federal authority. Yeah. 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 So the question, question is, observation is, and apparently Minneapolis Police Department, the federal government said they're going to do a top to bottom review of their police department today. And so the question is, after the Explorers case here in uh, Louisville and Brianna Taylor and David McAtee, do I think that should be done here? Do you have the power to request that? That's our time to speak. Okay. Do you? Yes. 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 That's what we want out of you. Yes. So here's what's happening. How do we get that done? Yeah. Let him answer the Let question. Answer yeah, the question. The, uh, all right, so on the Breonna Taylor case, I asked the FBI, the U.S. Attorney, the Attorney General to look at the case as well. So I want full review of what's going on there. On the David McAtee tragedy the other night, Kentucky State Police is providing independent oversight on that case as well. And in our search process for the new police chief, it's, it's in public, but we're putting out a request for proposal on it tomorrow. We're doing a top to bottom review of our police department by outside folks that have knowledge with the federal government, local governments, so they can analyze what our department is. The federal government come comes in when they feel like you're out of control. If they wanted to come in, I'd welcome them in, just like I've welcomed these other investigations. But we're asking, we're asking you as citizens to request it because that's how the citizens feel. If you 
Because you represent us. Yes. What about the body cam? Yes. Let's talk about yes. it. Come on. Let's talk about it. Ask, ask your question. Ask your question. That's it. 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 That's it from a whole Why different not agency. The Attorney General of the United States. Bro, we let you ask a question. Just let it, let yeah. it get it out, bro. Take, Please. take a look at what that is. Give me some critique if that's not it. Okay, uh, question over here about cover ups. I asked for multiple levels of review because if there's a cover up, it's not going to get past the FBI, the U.S. Attorney, and the Attorney General. And that's all I can do. Now, if you think it is, I mean, you just don't trust the system. And I understand why you don't trust the system. I get that. I get that. So the system is not going to be blown up overnight. So we got to work with what we got. You all got to keep. If you see something that's wrong, if you got different than facts, say something like you're doing right now. We want peace. What are we going to do about Donald Trump? Well, he's, he's been threatening to send the military throughout the country, and I can tell you the mayors of America would uh, would be pushing back real hard on that. That's, uh, that would really make things worse. Really make things worse. Vote in November. Vote in November. You got the black t-shirt. We had a black president when Trayvon was murdered last year. We gotta come closer. We had a black president when Trayvon was murdered last year. We had a black president when Trayvon murdered last year. Ferguson and all that stuff was happening. Our president was black. The most powerful man in the world. So why is just having more black police officers a good solution for you. Why is having more black police officers a good solution? Unfortunately, unfortunately, my experience is in this world, uh, people relate to people that look like them, people that have backgrounds like them. There's certain things I can say as a, as a white mayor to white people about white privilege that they hear differently than if it's a black person saying something like that. And that hurts me. But that is the reality of America. So I feel like the more that the police force looks like the community, the better the police force we're going to have. People have got to see people that look like them, whether it's in the executive suite or firefighters or social workers. You never know who's going to be inspired by that. It matters. Is there biased recruiting? So a lot of things what you said is great in theory, but what can you do right now to give the people who have lost their wife, who've lost their girlfriend, who've lost their father, what can you do to give them a peace of mind? It's it's one thing to talk about in theory that the police need uh, more like more training, more whatever but what can you do now because the people are suffering now the people are broken now what can you do to just to guarantee justice or guarantee that we have justice or peace because until we do the city will not so what can you do to guarantee that those who have lost their loved ones like Brianna Taylor what can you guarantee for their family who's suffering and just broken right now because we're all broken but the family is even more broken. So what can you do? That's a great question. Thank you. Thank you. Last question, everybody, please. Let him answer, please. Hey, hey, you're not even organizing this. You got to stop the, that. He knows what to do. Where you start. Stop doing people like that. I don't care. Don't engaging do with the family. Yeah. Let the See, talk. So when a tragedy takes place, what's so, I don't know if any of y'all are like this, when, it, when something bad happens in your life, and you I just say, could we go back 24 hours ago and have a redo here? He don't need you. When you lose somebody that you love, when an accident takes place you. and you can't believe it, you want to roll back the clock. But life doesn't work that way. So for Ms. Palmer, Tamika Palmer's Brianna's mom, 
when we ask for these levels of review. We ask that for their family so that the truth I'm comes good. out. I don't want to talk. I just want the questions answered. When we talk to David McAtee, Yaya's mom, Miss Odessa, who in the middle of all this mess yesterday, and this is a lesson in grace, where she says, Mayor, I'm praying for you. Who says that when their son has been killed 14 hours ago? She does. I'm talking about showing grace. So what we can do with her in this moment is say, how can we help you in this moment? And she says, work with us on it. So we start with the family. We go through the system. Charges are filed. Civil suits are filed. Damages can be paid back to the... It's, no, it's not a measure for the loss of a loved one. It's not just. But that's all we can do. All right? One last... Let me address one question that has not been asked. And that's with the, the big sticking point for many people. And you're not going to be happy with my answer, but I hope oh, what I... Some of y'all might think I lie all the time. I think I tell the truth all the time. With Breonna Taylor, the big question is, why can't we arrest and prosecute these three police officers? So, so let me give you a wholly inadequate response that you will not like, but it's the way the laws work. And you may not like the laws either. So if you don't like the laws, you got to elect people to change the laws. So here's how it works. There is a... There's, no, it's not me, bro. Here, please listen to me. Louisville Metro Government operates under state law. Okay, we are not the state. So if you want to get really up to speed, and again, this is very boring, but this is the reality of what i got to live with. KRS 67C dictates how we operate as a city. Under that statute, police officers, with that combined with the collective bargaining unit, with their union, the police union, the have rights. The rights are to an investigation that has to... I agree with you. I can answer the question. I don't like to answer either, but this is the law. They have rights to go through a public integrity investigation which has now been handed over to the Attorney General, Daniel Cameron. Then it goes to Profet and, the, and the Daniel Cameron will decide whether or not criminal charges will be filed. It so it's in his hands. Then there's a professional standards unit that decides any other activities that the police have got to t be taken on the police in terms of discipline. And then there's one more issue on the Commission for Police Accountability to all this work right. This process work takes way too much time compared to what people want to see. I get that. Every, that's why we handed over the case from LMPD when it was 95% done, not 100% done. I could have waited another month. I said, get that case to them so they can begin working on the case. I'm not, all I want is the truth to come out. You may not, you all may not believe this, but I belong to the citizens of Louisville. You got it. That's right. That's right. All right. So that's why we're not holding these things up but it's how our law works. Now, some people say fire them anyway. Here's what's going to happen if they get fired. Let's assume that they should be fired. All right, now let me tell you what will happen. Let me tell you what will happen. Let me tell you what will happen. They will, no, they will not go to jail. They will be fired. They will appeal that. They will be back on their job within one week with back pay with damages from the city because that's how the law works so think about this that is state law my brother i'm sorry folks I, I, if i could change any of that i would I'm, So thank you guys. Vote, vote people in, man. You gotta vote people in. I'll be around if you want to ask more questions. I wanted to answer that question. I knew you wouldn't be happy with it either. But it's the truth. 
So protest peacefully tonight. Keep it alive. Keep working for change. And we will tell our cops to be peaceful. All right. Absolutely. Okay. All right. I'll be back and I'll be here for questions. Thank y'all. March on. Keep shouting. I'll do what I can. Thank y'all. Take care.